Kitchen and a new episode of Holidays Are Coming. I haven't done one of these in a couple of weeks and I've been so busy doing other things that this just kind of got pushed off to the side and I apologize for that. But tonight I'm going to show you how to make a quick and easy pumpkin butter that we're not going to can, but you can make this in a large batch and process it in jelly jars for 15 minutes. But tonight we're just going to make the pumpkin butter and you can put this in small jars. You can give it with muffins or rolls or whatever to your friends, your family, your neighbors, your coworkers. It's really easy and it starts with canned pumpkin. So let's get started. I'm going to start, this is going to make one quart. So if you have this, then you can make just enough to fill a pint jar. But I figure since I'm going to make it, I have several cans of pumpkin in my food storage that I need to rotate. So this is a really excellent application for that. And with it being fall, we're going to be seeing pumpkin in the store and pretty soon it's going to start going on sale. So that's the time to stock up on it. I did the same last year and now I'm at the end. I have about a half a dozen cans in my storage that I need to use up. So we're just going to open them up. Pumpkin is such a great thing to have in your food storage. It's so healthy. You can make so many different things with it. You can use it. Um, Smells okay. Oh yeah, it looks fine too. Um, you can use it to make soups. You can make um, you can make pasta with this. You can make a ravioli filling. You can do so many things with with pumpkin. Anything you could do with squash, you could do with pumpkin. You can even use. Uh, Hmm. Okay. You can even use butternut squash to make this butter as well, and it would give you a similar result. Now, to this, we're going to add one cup of water, and that's to two cans of pumpkin. So, if you're having it, one can of pumpkin, half a cup of water. Hmm. Give it a stir. Then we're going to move on to the sugar. Two cups of sugar. So that would be one cup of sugar per can. My sugar is all clumpy. And that wasn't quite a full cup, so. All right, so we've got a, two cups of sugar, a cup of water, two cans of pumpkin. Oh, pardon me. Now we're going to put the seasonings in. Oh, I can't get the lid on this thing. I guess I'll do it later. Okay, we're going to go for two tablespoons of pumpkin pie spice. And you can just use already mixed pumpkin pie spice because that's easy. Work smarter, not harder, right? Isn't that what Cat's Cradle always says? This is already mixed up for you in the perfect ratio. And it has exactly what I put in a pumpkin pie. It has cinnamon, allspice, nutmeg, cloves, and ginger. And you could even use this to make your apple butter if you wanted instead of the apple pie spice that I used. The ginger just gives it another depth of flavor. Give this a good stir. And then we're going to walk over and put it on the heat. I'm going to put this over a medium heat. Really different. Mm -hmm. Oh, maybe my stove is telling me it wants to be replaced with a gas one. With a gas one. Woohoo! I hate this electric stove. And the beauty of having a gas stove, I have propane at my house uh, for gas. My, my heater is hooked up to uh, propane. So um, it, is, it is plumbed behind the stove for actually for gas as well. I always said my next stove is going to be a gas stove, and I'm so excited about that prospect because I hate electric stoves so much. Okay, so we're going to cook this over medium heat, and we're going to simmer it until it begins to bubble and thicken. We're going to reduce it just a little bit, but it's almost at the perfect consistency. So really what you want to do is you want to heat this up and get that sugar melted in there and you want to get everything incorporated and having a nice party, you're going to want to simmer this for 15 minutes, okay? Over a medium low heat. Don't walk away from it too far because you're going to want to come over here and stir it occasionally because you don't want that sugar to burn. So, when the proper consistency has been reached, I will return and show you what it looks like. And we will have pumpkin butter. All right, our pumpkin butter is done. You can cook this until it reaches the thickness you desire. I have reached the thickness 
but I like it. It's it because as it cools, it's going to thicken. And I'm just going to ladle this into some clean jelly jars. And I'm not going to process these, but you certainly could. Um, I would process these for 15 minutes. Because pumpkin is so dense, the USDA does not recommend canning pumpkin. However, I'm just, I'm not canning these, so I'm just going to put them in the fridge. As these cool, they pull their own seal. They will pull their own seal as they cool. So, um, for personal use, that's how we're going to do it. And um, I'll just keep these in the fridge. They, it smells absolutely wonderful. But you know, if you're making Christmas gifts, you know, you could spend a Saturday afternoon and you could make a big bunch of this. Hmm. There we go. And you could give it to your friends um, and just tell them to put it in the fridge. That's all. And it's all good. Look, I probably could get another jar. Let me see if I have another clean one over here. And you don't have to put the, the rings and seals on them. You can just put the regular uh, plastic lid on them and it, it'll be fine. Let's see. Let's see if I have... oh. There we go. And I bet I have enough here to fill this. Let's see. Oh yeah. That'll fill that easy here. I just wanted to give you an idea of how much this recipe is going to make. Now, I will also let you know that, and there's enough there you could put in a small, small jar and um, have it for yourself. I added an extra half a cup of sugar because I tasted it and it wasn't quite sweet enough for me, but again, it's to your taste. We'll just top these off. Like that. Like I said, quarter of an inch, if you're going to can it, I would just leave a quarter of an inch headspace. And then go ahead and water bath it for 15. There's enough sugar in here that it's going to preserve it. And it's going to be beautiful. So look, that's five jars of beautiful pumpkin butter that you didn't have to really spend a lot of time making. And there's even just a little bit more left here. And Rick's going to get a good shot of that. And then even, you know, there's even a generous amount in here, I'd say. Yeah. I'll get a small, small jar. I have, I have half cup jars. I'll get one of those and fill that with that. So there you have it. Pumpkin butter, easy as pie. Huh? No pun intended. Mm. <laughs> so I hope you try this. I hope you make it for the holidays and I hope you give it away as gifts. And I hope you love it. Until next time, I'll see ya.